Yo. Yo. What? Yo, yo, yo. yo. I see you do it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> uh, Don't steal my shit, man. Man, man it's happening. Find your own identity, nigga. Ah, shit. Yo. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Handshakes, high fives, fist bumps. Butt squeezes and you know how we do. Hey, it is time for F Up Radio. Yes. Oh, now these niggas want to join in. That's we're we're here. Fun. We're alive. Yeah. We're awake. Fuck you guys. But right now we're gonna be welcoming oh, you back. Are strong. You know what? <laughs> 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 so <laughs> so we're, we're gonna be coming back in. We're gonna be coming back in from this break because you know sometimes I get overwhelmed. You know, these niggas is too much. And <laughs> so we're, we're going to get back to it. We're going to get back to it and have a day, if you know what I'm talking about. Quack. <laughs> it's always uncomfortable. Yeah. Don't be a yeah, quack. Man. Don't be a quack because be I'm the I'm the only I'm the only one that's quackers around here, if you know Boy, what the I'm talking about. So. <laughs> Um, we're gonna we're gonna jump back into a, a random. my coin. We're, <laughs> we're gonna jump back into a random conversation because we wow. didn't have a goal in the first place. Wow. So yeah. we're we're, we're gonna take, we're gonna <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take up where we left off. You know, it was one of my favorite comedians. Sense of humor, you know what I'm saying? That's oh. true. You gotta stay I, positive. I believe it. They're gonna mm-hmm. try to fuck us. Whatever. All mm-hmm. we can do is stay positive. That's the only thing we can do about it. What's know? this guy? Uh, Harvey Dangerfield. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of my favorite. Harvey comedians. Dangerfield. Rodney like, Dangerfield. Rodney, Rodney, I always do that, man. Yeah, they, I, 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 I grew up watching his movies. I liked his, I liked his uh, stand up. He always had though? these like great like one liners, but you know like towards, I think he passed away somewhere around two thousand five, two thousand six. Maybe Rodney like, Dangerfield. Yeah, like Rodney maybe two thousand six. I'm gonna yeah. say. Yeah. Ladybugs. That was his favorite movie. I you told me. Nah, yeah. I, I don't Lady even think I saw that soccer. one. No that's respect. crazy that you, no that's respect. the first movie you thought of. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, um... I think it was his last one, though. Nah, he did that... Uh, which one was it that... I think he was playing as a stepfather. It wasn't Ladybugs. It was a different one. Anyway. um, So, yeah, like he had major depression. Your stepfather. He had, uh, he had major depression. And, you know what I mean? Like, so he had uh, some, you know, issues and... That's true for a lot of comedians. Like, oh, this guy, uh, what's his name? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing good with names today, bro. That's awesome. That's all right. That's what's what we like to hear. Robin Williams. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Robin Williams, great example of, of that. You know what I mean? Like, so a lot of comedians had to do, um, deal with that. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I, I'm just saying, like, so even if we talk about something serious, yeah, there's always something comical to come so from wait, it. Don, you know what I mean? It's uh, people just people just touching in that buttholes. Look, bro, look at you people know? like Chris Farley and, you know, everybody that's gone now. It's, who had this serious depression, you know what I'm saying? But look at what they gave us. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And no one knows it better than the people Down in those the river, careers, baby, right? Like, yeah, but like... They've been up close. Watch rib, those SNL DVDs. Rib, rib all these splitting. Yeah. Who aren't here anymore. Rib like, splitting comedy. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what I'm especially saying? Chris That's Farley. That's what you gotta take from it, the positivity. <clears throat> Chris sitting. Farley was a very, very funny gentleman. Like, uh, his, his Down by the River character... It like blew my mind because like back then you didn't think stuff like that could I be on TV. I watched that right you now. Know? <laughs> oh my so god! So ju- just imagine oh, like man. somebody somebody that calling a counselor funny, to come to your house and they're like, "Oh, could you speak to my kids?" Back on track. You know, because my my kids are being wild and I, I need you to like scare them straight to like get them in line. And he's like, okay, I got, I got it, ma'am, I got it. Then as soon as your kids come home, and he's like, how would you like to be in a van down by the river? <laughs> you know? so, like that, that, yep. that cracks me up, you know, because like, how, how do you tell kids that, <laughs> you know? And and even while they were taping the skits, like a lot of them were laughing. Like you could see in their faces, they were laughing. Yep. But they tried everything in their power. Nah, there was one girl who couldn't hold her <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, just all. couldn't do it. She was be- just crying. Because <laughs> I would have done she, it too. That made it so much more funny than to watch. Down you know by like, the river. Like, I, that is hilarious. Like, they knew it was funny, so you knew it was yeah, funny. Even, like, even back they, then. They couldn't hold their shit, so how could you? You know, like. Even back then, like, somebody just saying that to you, like, yeah. damn, like, that's what you live? <laughs> and, like, you, you're you trying to teach me a lesson? Like, all right, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> like, you don't want me to end up like that in a van <laughs> down by the river. So, like, oh, it, his ass. It, 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 was a, it was a great joke. It was, not South Beach. What? It's not South Beach. Damn right. Inglewood. 
<laughs> Scoop <dope. laughs> I got uh I got nah. arthritis, so don't worry, don't don't shoot at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got arthritis. Like, I'm not I'm not throwing up any gang signs. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you meant that they're not gonna be able to hit you. No, nah, I'm I mean I got arthritis. Oh, I got I can't throw up any gang signs yeah. I can't hold my hand straight. <laughs> you know how that goes. You know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. No. <laughs> rewind selector, rewind. Yeah. Let me say it one more time. Rewind selector. You can talk. I can't uh, can't be throwing up gang signs because my my arthritis it, it, it be doing tricks on me. I can't hold pens straight. Can't even eat soup. I, I got I got my <laughs> I got my my Muhammad Ali shakes. You know how it is. Drink so, that shit, right? So. <laughs> If you if you were a, if you were a stunning fighter, uh, I'm not trying to point any fingers by saying stunning fighter, but if you were an action-packed fighter, uh, you would know about showmanship, and the UFC has really been really been pushing their fighters hard lately and having a lot of a lot of uh, main event fights. A lot of a lot of people lost their belts recently. A lot of people gain some some wins. You know what you know I think what it is. About? I think I think they're looking for the next golden boy since Khabib stepped out mm -hmm. and they know McGregor's on his way down. Mm -hmm. And That's they, they, they trying to on his way down. Up. That boy went down. Because you know? nah, I mean, lost uh, honestly, down. anybody who who thought me, uh, uh, nah, forgive me, forgive me. But anybody who thought McGregor was gonna actually win that fight, I thought was fucking berserk. I wanted to see. And they're like, that. everybody's trying. Now they're trying to say, oh, he got, you know, it was because of the leg kicks, and then McGregor was rushing in too fast, and all, you know, all these different reasons. Like Poirier, you're taking away from Poirier's talent, bro. Mm -hmm. This man, I've seen his career and I've seen the escalation from each of his fights, and this dude's just gotten better. Every single fight, he gets more deadly after every round, mm -hmm. and his stamina just gets stronger, faster, more aggressive, more, more explosive. And that's actually kind of the opposite from McGregor's fucking history. He always gets tired out. And they saw I, I, people who actually, did, I forgot which company did it, had the audacity to bet money that McGregor was going to knock this guy out in the first round, Poirier out in the first round. And I was like, that's impossible, bro. I was like, first of all, McGregor, if he gets past the first round, by the, after the second round, he's in a big problem. I already knew that. I wish I could put money on that fight, bro. I wouldn't have made some fucking <laughs> telling you, I wouldn't have made a killer. But they already, they already saw, they already talked about a, uh, they already talked about a round three. Mm. Again? Yeah. Yeah, I heard you, about you, that. You yeah. know they fought before? Yeah. They fought in the, the lightweight first, the division first time, about eight years ago, some crazy shit. The first shit, time McGregor ago, won. That doesn't count. McGregor no. won, and he the knocked him out. The first time McGregor won. Did he knock him out? This time, I got Cormier I got won. I could so be wrong on that. They, Cormier agreed to a, to a, a round three. So this this will be the this will be their best of three. Yeah, I'll fight that nigga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Yeah. Poirier was the only what one to be really get Khabib in any trouble. What about Jake Paul? He had him in a headlock. Khabib I'll popped his head too. out after a while. Jake, isn't he fighting uh, Mayweather? J Jake Jake Paul is itching to fight anybody. So if you want to fight, fight Mayweather's him, planning on fighting fight whoever somebody. wins. Jake Paul and Ben Affleck. Best ben Affleck is no, not Ben Affleck. Fighting, uh, what's he's, what's he's his guy's name? Fighting Jake oh, what's Paul. this guy's name? You might have or is it Logan Paul? Logan. What? No. Mayweather's fighting again. Again? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. He's gonna he's gonna fight Paul. He's fighting one of the Paul brothers. I thought he's waiting for um this guy. I think it's uh. Pacquiao? Paul Logan, no Paul, no Paul Logan's the the, the he's fighting um, what's this guy's name from the UFC? The wrestler that got kneed in the head by Masvidal. The wrestler, the yeah, it's, I, I said Ben Affleck, but that's not his name. It's like <laughs> it's, yeah. it sounds very similar. That's definitely his name. Nah, nah, Spent Asterisk, like Ash, like Asterisk. Asterisk. I think it's that. Oh, what's his name, man? I think it's like a Ben Asterisk or something like that. I'll yeah, my phone, too, my phone's yo. not near me, what's man. Up? Yeah. That's that's I'm relying on Philly. So we're, while we're while we're waiting for we're some, waiting for thrills to uh, some type of confirmation, uh, you know we don't want to just sit here looking like assholes. Askren, we're, we're Askren, just, Ben Askren, a oh Askren, yeah. Ben Askren, yeah. 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 It just it was two brains for a second. merge into one accidentally. <laughs> Askren turns into yes. assholes. So, <laughs> th that fight is confirmed. Um, okay. So he's fighting Ben Askren, but he Ben Askren's known as a as a wrestler in the UFC. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's why he's a, it's interesting because oh, this guy's okay. still kind of a nov. Uh, this guy, uh, Logan, is still a novice. Mm-hmm. In, uh, oh, he's, in, he's in fighting. Boxing. He's fighting Mayweather, Logan Paul. Mm-hmm. Oh, Logan Paul is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's who he's fighting. Logan. Yeah. When does that happen? I thought that, I thought he was gonna fight this guy. It's if he... this month, Black History. Oh no shit. Hey, 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 hey. That's <laughs> relax. relax. Yeah. So Mayweather is gonna be fifty-one and zero now. Okay. Is, is he? He's fifty and zero with uh, McGregor. No. I, I'm not sure if they counted that. No, I think it because yeah, it was they a counted. Bo- it, it, it was, was a boxing. Like, it was that? an official boxing. boxing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a um. What do you call those things uh, when they just make money? Exhibition. Thank you. It's just an exhibition, exhibition fight. Exhibition, yeah. not a hex. <laughs> exhibition fight. Yeah. A hexhibition is like some voodoo root where you, your balls shrink. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I bet you Tyson would be in that shit. It's scary as fuck, still. My, my balls are not shrunk. <laughs> you know, like my my balls are always the same size. I got a couple of bone marrow. <laughs> no, from see, but the, but from that, the beach. that recent Tyson fight was <laughs> which was, doctor was pretty in, interesting. Mm-hmm. The yeah, no, yeah, fight. yeah. It was. It, it definitely because showed that there's a there's a platform for that. I people and, would still watch that, and that there was an actual human being in Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he's like, he didn't let loose. No, nah. no. And he, he really could have. Yeah, he could have yeah. went more in. I yeah. feel like this guy caught his groove later in the rounds. Uh, Roy Jones. Yo, he he was catching. You could see a little bit of old yeah, Roy Jones Roy come Jones out until the end. It. Still got a little bit. Yeah, but Mike Tyson was like, you could tell he was holding yeah, he back. He kept grabbing him, though. That's what it was. He kept grabbing him the whole yeah. fight. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it was a he money slowed grab. him down. Yeah, I heard this guy wants to compete again. And then George, he started George Foreman. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh no. Did you hear about that? I don't what? think he could do that. Nah, I don't think that's a bad idea. Foreman. Yeah, Foreman. he spoke a little Foreman. shit talking about he wants to get back. I mean, I, I don't even think he wants to do exhibitions oh, yeah. either. Please, Foreman. he should probably I mean, just don't do that. train. Don't. He should probably just train people. How old is he? He's like fifty-eight, right? George Foreman? George Foreman. He's got to be in 60s, at least. Please don't. He can't be in the shape. He can't be in that. I mean, he's probably in great shape, better shape than I am. I mean, Brady, 43. No, but see, that's a goat. Don't, don't, don't. That's a goat, though. I'm just saying, people do amazing things later in life, too, bro. It's just, they're rarities. It's not often. Shitting themselves Don't versus you Atlanta. Ever. And I looked at them, I'm like, yo, are you fucking stupid right now? Like, this is the Brady Bowl. Like, you niggas uh, are down 21 you ever to 3. Your like, life. Watch what Brady does right now. Don't you ever watch in your what life happens. let Brady and cross your it. lips again. Uh, I with pulled that it. fucking nature. Patriots what? Fans <laughs> sitting there like this. <laughs> Seven rings, and I'm bitch. Like, watch what's going to happen. Seven. Right he has, Seven he of has them. more Bob rings than Seven any of NFL team. Seven you know, rings. I think he broke the record in the NFL for the most records broken in the NFL. Don't you ever. Bro, that's, Don't you like ever crazy. in your life. Don't you ever in your life talk about Brady like that. Big up, me blessed mind. <laughs> All right, he's, so he's, Brady. he's getting a good ball tug okay, in here. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I, thought, I thought you might say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good <Yeah>. job. <laughs> good job. I thought you might say that. Yeah, like, you know, Don't you ever I, in your life talk about Brady like that. Like, he, he don't care what team he on. He making it. He, he, li- he literally the, he making it to the show. It's like he just so wants like, to go to the Super Bowl. He's this the year. fucking he's the he Wayne like, Gretzky. He, he any money mode yeah, a up. football team and he was like, Gretzky all right, you guys, team. you guys are it, and I'm gonna just take you guys to the Super he Bowl. He is the guarantee, one. guarantee. If Brady would have accidentally showed up on the Jets. The motherfuckers would have won. It. They would have won. I they would have they they yeah. took the Super Bowl. Yep. I heard and Brady would have just showed up on the Jets with Gronkowski and the, the whole front line. Yeah. Nah, he's like, taking away from him. Like he, from him, bro. They, they had a like, good defense. If, if, if Brady and the whole front it. line That's with Gronkowski it. showed up Seriously. on the Jets, they would they would have won the game. That would have been being, that, being yeah. that that wasn't the case, he showed up on the Buccaneers. Should have went to the Giants. Bro. Showed up on no. the Buccaneers. No, I, I heard he's I heard he's seven doing another rings, season. baby. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he's going to seven season. of them. Se- seven of contract. them rings. But that, that's his business. That's that's his business. If he want to keep All playing, right. if he want to retire, if he could do that, that's his choice. And and just like Mike Tyson, that's his choice. If I he want to get back in the ring, he'll well, fucking I mean, destroy somebody. Where do you see him? I mean, he'll destroy somebody if you want to get back in the ring. I don't, I don't know about the, like fighting see? anyone. Are you though? serious? What do you see after next year? Staple your lips together because huh? you did not just say that about Mike Tyson. Who me? No, 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 yes. no I'm talking about Brady. I'm no, all right. So I, get, I, get, I understand what you're saying. We're gonna get back to that. <laughs> all right, you saying like I, you saying Mike Tyson could fight anyone? Like, I don't think. I don't I mean, know he could do that. Not now. Not now. 
His he's, prime, he's, his prime, he's, he could have killed anyone right now. Yeah. No, he's 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 more humbled now than anything. He's yeah, I think he that, does it to that's compete, not, not that's to That's not kill his anymore. his mindset anymore. Smoke, yeah. man, when it, no, when it was he's, like when when he was with Customato, he's the one that yeah, instilled that in him. Come on, smoke, you know? Snoop Customato instilled smoking, that beast like, in him. And was when he uh, Customato died was when he started fucking up too, bro. That's when he started going. Yeah, that's when he went back. He that's when he went Vogue. You know, he went that shit. That's when he went back to when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. To rob and stealing, yeah, like man. he went down he's, back he down all, that path. Except he, the difference was he had all his money to spend, and he was fucking yeah. young, successful. He had no more powerful. guidance. He had no more guidance. See, people were scared of him, bro. People still scared of Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yo, one of the I forgot who said it. Like I, I saw that maybe probably like uh, what you calling this show, but um, the one guy was saying that how standing next to Mike Tyson was like a fucking lying and like having a lion in the room. Like he was just like this presence. That's just, that's and I believe that shit. Just like I'll be fucking. See what happens. Nah, hell, <laughs> fuck no. You don't poke that shit. Sledgehammer, around. Yeah. boy. Yeah, I rather go night jump. I rather mm. jump in with the lions. Like fuck that. <laughs> so, yeah. so nah, I'd give me the sledgehammer, bro. So Put you don't. don't ASAP. Don't so you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to poke the, the lion, line, but nah. he he too old to make it in this business. Is what you're saying? No, I'm saying nah. I don't box professionally, mm. and I ain't poking a fucking lion of any kind. But a lion versus a lion, y'all go ahead. Well, you know, Tyson that might that, shit, those gonna be different outcomes. Mike's gonna see this. Interesting. You know, like yo, Twix Very Rivera. That's yeah, it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you, Twix. Yeah, yeah Twix, I gotta. Yep. Get between my teeth. I appreciate yeah. you doing my impression. It was a very poor impression, Twix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I see maybe one or two more fights out of Tyson. Yeah, no, and it'll be entertaining as fuck. Each yeah. of them, he's the, he's gonna perform, man. He, he he knows how to. He knows how to sell it. Even with Roy Jones, he was saying shit like uh, he was looking for looking for a knockout and shit like that. I'm like that's scary shit. Oh, I was like, yeah, this is an exhibition. Nah, but like, this is like the the post fight interview when it was like checking on Roy Jones, and he was like, "What about me?" <laughs> <laughs> He was like, I was out there too. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. True, true. Yeah, because he was getting hit also. True. Roy Jones is, is, you know, he's he's slick. He's just, and he was at first, I felt like he was a little rusty, and it felt yeah, like it was like found his groove later. He found his groove later. I really did feel that way. He was I moving did. good. He, I mean, it was he both was of them because, like, I mean, they both are not used to fighting anymore. They they train probably. Of course, I understand, but they did they Roy Jones did Roy Jones almost put his fucking train in the hospital for training. I mean, I didn't know anyone went to the hospital after training, like with these guys. No, no, yeah, after Tyson. Mm-hmm. No, Tyson. Tyson's trainer had to get surgery because he was hitting the nigga he said too Jones. Hard. What? I'm I'm asking. Did Jones have his trainer no, go to no. the hospital? I mean, like I said, I didn't hear. But each, Tyson any camp, on I record. I, I don't know. Tyson on record had really? one of his trainers go to the surgery because he was hitting him too hard. It's Mike Tyson, bro. Dude. Yeah, I mean, it's not. So if you if you telling me he almost killed his trainer by accident, if you put him in the ring, he not going he not going to do his job in the ring. Is he, that what you're telling me? Probably punch punches Maybe the way. Fighting and training bites, is different. You know? Fighting and training is different. And back to back to the Roy Jones fight. He he like could have trying to hype Tyson he, up. You're trying he could have did a him. no no. He could have did a lot more damage than he did. And Who, he Jones? did a lot. Didn't what? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about Tyson. Yeah, Tyson could have did a lot more damage than he did, but he wasn't supposed to. Yeah, that he was the rules to knock him out of the yeah. fight. Yeah, they have rules yeah. to that fight. Give him a real fight. Well, look, he could have got a, a lot of more hits off, but Jones kept grabbing him. Give him a real yeah. fight, a real fight. How he used to fight. Mm-hmm. Let him fight. And it, just like back in the days, maybe even better, somebody going to get hurt. And it ain't going to be Tyson. I Trust me on that. Like like I said, with the whole Roy the whole Roy thing, he couldn't hurt Roy. Mm-hmm. He was trying his best not to hurt Roy. He still accidentally knocked the wind out his ass. So you can't tell me you putting him back in the ring, he going to get hurt. I'm not you saying he's going to get hurt. I'm saying he got three more, two more fights in him. Nope, That's I don't it. believe that. More? I don't believe that. You think Mike has think more? more? I think he has a, a I career. Don't think he, I don't think he wants Against to. Against who? He don't. He Boy don't. Ha- Jones? I understand if he don't want to. Yeah. I understand that. But he's well, that's, still. That's, that's a part of your world. At his that's age, at his age, he still has a career and, and a lot of a lot of a 
lot of people can't say that. Like, I mean, at his age, though. I mean, this, at his yeah, age, cannot school. say that. It's a rarity. I was saying that before. Like, like that's not a lot of people who can He's compete in the same way they have as when they were younger. That's 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 for yeah. the most part the majority. In any true. sport, but that's in any sport. But they're they're, yeah, they're just like those Brady. Priorities. That's what Bra- I'm saying. Him, him and Brady are in the same league. Like Brady's <laughs> still getting rings, mm-hmm. just like Tyson will still get belts if you let him get mm-hmm. it. How old was Jordan when he uh, won his last? Yeah, like, but fighters last... are different now. You know what I'm saying? It's not like yeah, it's, it's a lot more. You know, like... It's a lot more strain on the body. There's I a lot that. more strain. Yeah, you, I get, you get all kinds. You get Parkinson's and uh, of early, uh, you know, on state like, dementia. Who do you see like, now it's, it's going crazy. against Tyson? Like nobody you had people back in nobody. the day that would nobody. go against nobody. Tyson. You got nobody. Now. <laughs> nobody. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's why he would have back then. There was a few guys who were like, you know, like that shit. Let him fight Khabib. If everybody's scared, if everybody's scared of a man, what's the nigga from the longest yard? Khabib big, and Tyson is crazy different in weight. Huh? If everybody's scared of Mayweather, who's the wrestler dude from the Longest Mayweather. Yard? He played in the, the Longest Yard, the movie. Oh, uh, uh, that big, Clark, Clark huge Duncan, motherfucker! No man. No, nah, no, that was not him. What's his name? Uh, he was fuck. like Khabib in wrestling. That was his name. Khabib. No, Michael Clark. No, 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 no. no it's not him. It's not him. Talk about the the Middle Eastern dude. Wait, what are you talking about? The wrestler that was in the oh, show. Uh, Khabib, right? Wasn't he no, Khabib? Sh- Khabib again? No, shh. Stop being racist. <laughs> no, that was his name. Great Khabib. Khalid. Khalid. It was a great Khalid. <laughs> he fought with Rob. <laughs> <laughs> he fought with Rob Ram Dam. That's what I'm saying. E- That's what I'm saying. E- Stop e- being racist. Yeah. Like you're messing with my brain. It's Khalid. I'm sorry. <laughs> so like, it's Khalid. The yeah, great Khalid. Khalid, yeah, great Khalid, Khalid yeah. and Rob Van Dam yeah. had one of my most favorite Jesus. moves in wrestling. Right. So <laughs> do you let Tyson fight him. Do you remember this? Roman no, Dunder? no. Yes. No. What's he right. doing now? Yes. All right. You talking All about right. some guy who hasn't even... Truth, we don't truth, even know what truth, he looks truth. like anymore. Khalib is a, a seven-foot giant. His, yeah. His knees Let are Tyson destroyed. fight him. That's what the fight no. I want to see. Yeah. Khalib can't fight nobody because Why, his bro? knees are he can't dust. Even walk. Yeah, you're right. His knees okay. are dust. Literally. Yeah, he can't dust walk. Under his, under his thighs. His knees are dust. Like, if you, if you look at how the great Khalib walks... You can see that his knees are done. <laughs> it's like it's they're not they're not there. They're they're barely keeping him standing. Like he I'm pretty sure he went through a few surgeries over the years, as it is. And you know, just being the size that he is 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 murder on the knees. I hear you on that. Like me me being six two, I know that there's that's murder on the knees. So, <laughs> no, I said you know what I would too. You know what? Seven feet. I swear Come to on. God, I'll pay two hundred dollars for this pay per view. Murder. Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. Paul Logan, Mike Tyson. That's I'll pay two hundred dollars. <laughs> I will no. watch that. I will want to see Mike Tyson no, fight him. Tyson no, will no. beat his ass. No. I would love no. to see it though. No. You want to tell him you want to watch? Personally, yeah. Personally, that'll never happen. <laughs> Logan is not a heavyweight. Tyson. Logan is not a heavyweight, and Tyson will not not take that fight because he don't want to hurt him either. <sighs> Like he's not a heavyweight. Fuck that nigga. Hurt him. Uh, hurt him. I understand. I, 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 I understand. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that nigga. Hey. He shit it on New York when he fucked Nate up like that. I'm I mean, the, the dude you was a feel. Feel. The dude was yeah. an athlete. He wasn't a boxer, dude. That's a different yeah. thing. Listen, and this guy yeah, coming. Oh, boxer is an athlete. You done? No, Nate. Like Nate yeah, went face first. He was. You know what I mean? He was. He competed in a different kind of sport than boxing. You know what I mean? Like he he. He wasn't in full in that kind of full context. He's not a boxer though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Boxing is He's like a, a whole different game. He's a basketball player. Yeah, so disrespecting Nate. So basketball player. Smoke. So disrespecting Nate. <laughs> you, you no no. You, I still so, get that ass yeah. boy. You, I, you I, can't. You I'm can't. upset that, that he's fighting this fucking wrestler from that's UFC. That's two different sports. I don't like the. And then you know what's crazy about that? That he's fighting this dude, um, Askren, that you know, had a hard time with for earlier, um. Askren's not a boxer, and I don't like Askren. Mm-hmm. And so I, it's like I don't want to fucking root for Logan or for what's his name? Oh, um, yeah, yeah Logan, this guy, yeah. yeah. Who? Uh, Jake Logan. Paul, I can't oh, keep up with that. Their fighting? fucking brothers. Paul Logan. Paul Logan. Paul Logan. Paul Logan. He's fight who? Mayweather. Nah, he's fighting um, Ben Askren, the UFC fighter. Nah. So, but this guy, the UFC fighter, he's a wrestler. And he he uh, he's not known for having like nice hand skills or anything like that. If anything, you see him so throwing hands, it looks off. I don't know. I don't know because the the difference is that this guy has been competing in high impact sports. He's a he's I he's actually a like class one division wrestler or whatever you want to say. He that's competed same, in the Olympics. Man. Yeah, I know that's the thing. But he's he's gotten punched in the face. He's been in the UFC for a while. 
He's like he knows. You know, what I mean, I'm just saying like he's he's used to that kind of energy, I that kind of crowd. But I got punched in the face too. But that doesn't make me a boss. I don't want to go for this guy because I personally <laughs> think he's a bigot. You know, I got but... punched in the face a lot of times. Doesn't make me a boxer. Yes, it no, does. sure, but it gives you experience of getting punched point. in the face. When you After get punched, the first in... time, it should have made you a no, boxer. No, no, the first doesn't. punch in the it face doesn't. is a fucking surprise, bro. Right. You never felt that shit before, and yeah. whatever the fuck. And it doesn't After... make you a boxer. Yeah, but when you do it over and over again, over and over again, you, you, I'm just saying, you know what to expect. No, that means you don't know what you're doing. No, but, <laughs> but like Ben, in, Ben Askren, face, you don't know what you're doing. Compared to compared to all that, Nate, yo, Nate had no experience compared to Ben Askren. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole different field. Ben Askren's going to at least know how to dodge his head. He's going to know how to guard himself. He's going to know how to Nate protect himself Robinson and get away. Nate is not a fucking fighter. He's a basketball player. <laughs> why do people keep like, exactly throwing him into the, like, fighting events? Exactly why I'm saying this fight is why? interesting. That's why I'm that saying That doesn't this. make sense. But this fight is but, interesting for that very same reason. That's because, like, that's like right. saying, yo, Jordan choked the shit out of McGregor. Nigga, Jordan, he, nigga, he, probably he choked, can at this like, point. he's 68, but he choked All the right, shit out of McGregor. Let me ask you this, like, right? He's not a fucking let me ask fighter. You this. All right? Nate was a ball player, right? How you know Nate ain't have hands before he was a ball player? Because it ain't. Up. How you know Nate wasn't nice with his hands? It don't matter. It don't matter. It does matter. Yes, it does. Because if 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 Jake Paul went from being a, a YouTuber to being an exclusive boxer... <laughs> That maybe, means yo, maybe he was that's nice what his hands that, too. That means Before that's he was the a YouTuber, he that's was the career that he because chose. Because you used to test him, wait, and wait, used to get busy with his. That hands. means that's the career that he chose. So if he would have chose, okay, he could have he could have chose basketball too, right? Who? He, he could have went from YouTube to basketball, right? Why he wasn't a basketball player? And Nate Robinson is not a fucking fighter, is what it, I'm saying maybe, to you. Like I'm saying, <laughs> like, like, maybe some, before he was a YouTuber but, or a fighter, he was nice with his hands. Well, that's, that's the reason why court, I'm saying you know Ben, saying? ben why, Askren why else has would been... you think Nate Robinson would want to fight? You know what I'm saying? Like Ben Askren has been fighting and like, competing as a this fighter. This is my point. Like, yeah. He could fight. You know this is saying? my point. Jake Paul had two two fights under his prior belt Nate, before yes, he got to Nate. Yeah, prior to that. And have no What the fuck did Nate have? You're right. He was on the court. Right. <laughs> what what did they have? If he did have some street fights, niggas forgot. Yeah, but what, what was the <laughs> so what did they have? But then, like in retro, like yeah, it, it, just if to it's just in you, it's in you, bro. You know just come saying? on, like, son. Like you, you can't, you can't. You don't right. forget how to you, fight. Just to you play devil's saying? advocate, and I'm you, going to. You can't, you can't get mad. You can't get mad at a construction worker for what not was, being a fisherman. If you fucking, if you, if you hire a construction, yo, you're worker. a construction was, man, and you know how to build something. You always gonna know how to build something. Of course, what but you this, can't get mad like, at the nigga for not catching fish. What was this guy doing before <laughs> boxing, though? Like, he was doing YouTube videos, all. right? Ooh. And he was just trolling. Yeah, yeah. he was trolling. That's so, it. But like, after, that's the same, after that's he the got... That's the same argument you can make with him. After he got he banned... After he got banned, he and he wasn't able to make any YouTube <laughs> videos. He What else was he going to do? Get a regular job... Or start fighting. And what did he do? Go to the fucking gym. He started fighting. He, he started training. training. I, I, he started no, no, no. learning. But why would you, and this why is would what I'm saying. That? That, that, that's say, a career. Okay. I'm not going to take that away from him. You can tell he's passionate about boxing. Okay. You, uh, you can tell he's really trying to get into the game. Okay. I think he's going about it kind of crazy because he's going after guys that's actually that's legitimately choice. trained about that's it. That's his choice. That, what so made that's what, he still learned. He still learned. I think Ben Askren is going to whoop that now. And now I just kind of want to go against you. He <laughs> still like, learned ben the aspect of fighting. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> just say, I got money. I'm going a, I'm to a just jump in the ring like Robinson did. Mm. Yeah, but why didn't they start fighting? Why did who? Well, I did why they? did they? Well, you know, no one ever because asked Because he that. was trolling check. him. He was trolling him the whole time. <laughs> he was trolling who? Nate? He was trolling Nate the whole time. Like, Nate, did, Nate is not a fighter. Like, that was the point. He's a he's a basketball player. So, that's how the so he over. was trolling him the whole time. Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. What, Even, why was why was he trolling him for what? Who fucking knows? You gotta ask I him had that. To start somewhere. You gotta ask. You gotta ask Paul that. You gotta ask Paul that. No, like I don't know how it started. I don't know how it started. You gotta ask Paul that. But Honestly, I know that Robinson didn't want to fight, fight from the start. So you think you think Paul from gonna, the start? You think, I know that. You think Paul's I've gonna seen videos of Paul trolling him? To, at his house, and he's like, "What are you doing in my house?" And he's like, "Let's fight." And he's like, "Get out of here! Like, what are you doing in my house?" And you're like, that's my girl like, here. like, yeah, or yeah and, and that's what I'm saying. He's not a professional fighter. He's a basketball player. Like, if if he did that with McGregor, if he showed up at McGregor's house, different. 
Mm. If, you know, different. But McGregor's not a boxer either. No, I think McGregor. But McGregor's a fighter. You would look that up. <laughs> <laughs> so not in, this is what I'm saying. Hey, on um, matchups, as far as matchups totally concerned, different no. circumstances. McGregor would like that. Uh, right. Robinson is but not a fighter. I still think Bas- uh, I think uh, Askren has a. Uh, it's, it's an interesting choice. I think it's going to be actually a fair fight in that in that regard. In my opinion, I think that I think Ben Afrin- Askren and yeah. this guy Logan. I think that can go anyway, and well, um, I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah, well, that's up to his training. Yo, I'm pretty sure if I have this good feeling that after this guy got KO'd by that flying knee, are you telling me that if he wanted to keep competing, that he didn't start thinking of, oh, shit, I don't need that to happen to me again. He's going to fucking do anything he can for defense. He's going to learn. I'm sure he's been practicing mm-hmm. with his hands since that fight, and that exactly. fight happened over a year ago. Exactly. That, you know, I'm pretty... And with, with that, with the backup of wrestling behind him... And exposure and fighting and compete and competing with that kind of high pressure, yo. I think that I think this is gonna be interesting, bro. But I think it could go any way. You don't think it's? Coaches, I don't like Askren. Don't get me wrong. But you don't like, think his coach as as is gonna work with his concern? hands though? If if knowing that he can't wrestle, you don't think his coach is gonna work with his hands? That don't even make sense. Just like Robinson mm. not going to the gym. I think he was. <laughs> I, think, like, I think he like was because the thing is, you gotta remember make sense. before that that knee hit him by Masvidal. Mm. Before that shit hit him, he was holding belts. He was winning back to back. Wrestling was fucking working for him in mixed martial arts. Okay, that's why it was like crazy for him. Okay, so he never had that real. I, for me, I don't think he ever had that grounded moment, like that humbled moment where oh shit, this other technique can really do damage to this technique. Uh-huh. And so when this guy went on the offensive and very quickly tricked him into it, and then pounced on him, in and. Basically gave him the fastest KO in history in the UFC UFC history. Mm. I'm sure that if he wanted to keep competing, he had to fucking think about not letting that something like that happen to him. You don't to be mm. for that to happen to you, and for that to take out that much from you. Okay, it's it, like and you want to keep competing in the same time. There's no way that you're gonna be like you want to repeat or something like that. That would, that didn't look good. You know what I mean? That takes away. Now, nobody wants to be that guy to get knocked out that quickly. And especially having that kind of success right before that happening. You know what I mean? So, like, it's like, remember when uh, this guy got knocked out? Um, what's this guy, guy's name in boxing? Um, Which one? <laughs> that's a good question. He's lightweight <laughs> division, very fast. Uh, from, Indonesia, se- from Indonesia, I think. Pacquiao. Uh, Pacquiao. Pacquiao, thank you. That's a great segue. Right, well, Pacquiao, I, they got, you know, <laughs> names escape me. I'm not, knocked him out? Um, I want to say it was... Um, Shit, I hate you. Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm glad but, we transferred over to this. Anyway, you know, it was it was like that that kind of great decline, you know, for that moment. But then he can't, comes back, and it's just like it's just so like what? He, he's the mayor back home. Huh? Oh, fuck if I lose a fight. Yeah, but I mean, you know, any, like any great, especially a lot of greats come back because they were able to learn from their mistakes and from their losses. And if if Askren has that in him, I don't know. But I'm just saying, if he had has anything like that in him, I'm sure he went back to the drawing board, basically figured out how to relearn certain things, and that may have happened before this fight was presented to him. And this might be his his first opportunity, or well, really realistically, second opportunity to show that off. He lost the fight right after Askren. I mean, right after Masvidal, I think. I'm pretty sure. Me and me. you know, hmm. you know. But anyway, that aside. I think I think this is an interesting matchup. I think it's good for fucking uh, Logan in a lot of ways too, because um, now he's actually fighting someone who actually com- competes in that kind and in in a similar art form, not something so drastically different like basketball, you know. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> just saying, like, I, and then maybe then if you do good in this, then you get some, you maybe get some a little bit of respect, and you get some more um, fights, you know, worth the while for you, you know. And I, I know you're passionate. I know you. Doing your goddamn finest, but uh, I mean, it's not all it's about the. I mean, at the end, it's all about money. But mm-hmm. he's, oh, for he's, sure. he's chasing money matches. No, he knows of how to course. promote. He's a promoting genius, and he's a lot not of ways, uh, yeah. actually. I mean, he says he's passionate about it, mm-hmm. but then he goes and he trolls the shit out of people mm-hmm. into fighting him. That's true. But, I, but maybe like he's I said, that he knows he knows what fights to go for. And at the same time, he doesn't have a loss on his record. So you can't really fault him for what he's doing. Mm. Two fights. Two professional fights. Two professional fights plus Robinson. I guess they're counting that. Yeah, that's the second one. 
That's Stop the second one. Fight. Nah, he had two before that. It's mm. it's uh McGregor. Mm. I. Oh, it's it's uh on record as two and zero. So it's a professional fight. Oh wow. Okay. I'll fight that. Nigga. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I think that's it. That sounds like what I. So. You know, like I said, that's his choice. If he wanna, if <laughs> he can lose to somebody, but mm. if, if that's the route that he's going, you like it's kind of smart because, like, uh, if you ever if you ever watched uh, wrestling, like back in the Attitude Era, uh, like people like Triple H or people like Edge and Christian, they they were crush. They were going. <laughs> yeah, I used to like Crush. Yeah, crush was, <laughs> was a bro. monster. Crush. Yeah. Yep. Remember Lex Luger when he when he Lex Luger when he first came out? The narcissist. He would, he would flex in front of the mirror and shit. The narcissist. That was fucking yeah, yep. that was weird. But Diesel was the shit. Diesel was Diesel Ill. first came out? Wow. Yeah, I remember Diesel. You heard that fucking truck horn? You're fucked, buddy. And he's gonna slam you on the back of your life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bang. Power bombs were hitting, yo. Are you kidding me? Wow. You yeah, fucked, I'm just right imagining on. how how do you get powerbomb in the back of your life? Like, yeah. do, do you see? Do you Picked see the end? Your whole life up and powerbomb. Like, do you see the end, or do you, you just like bang. prepare yep. yourself you saw your for like life. a downfall, a yep. possible downfall? You're like, yeah. All right, it, I might a, not wake up from this. It's gonna happen here. <laughs> so no, now that I know to. this is happening, it's because I survived this powerbomb. Yeah. And then I can better prepare myself for Guarantee this downfall. You saw a, a burst of light when you hit the. Floor. Mm. I'd be Bang. pissed. I'd be pissed to to see the end of my life. Slam Bret Hart like eight while times. I get power bombed, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not the power bomb mm -hmm. that kills you. <laughs> that's true. Is that that's at the end of your life? Mm. Yeah, but then like it's like oh shit, what you the have to fuck? Then, that then, shit then you'll be like that. You, then you'll be like Morty mm. when he has the the truth stone mm. and he's trying to like guide his way to. Uh, uh, Jessica. To the, to uh, Jessica. I, I, I gotta get to Jessica. Uh, so you, you have to try and avoid your death <laughs> after the power bomb. It's gonna be a fucked nah, up life like, after it's that. Like the kids. You you can't you can't live a normal life after no, that. You can't no, die. You get all. shot in the head and you respawn like the kids, remember? No, but we don't know if that's the case. Mm -hmm. You yeah. gotta wait till the end. Yeah, you have yeah, to try and it. walk mm. grab life by the horns in a different direction. Mm -hmm. That was a good episode. True Maybe, that. Uh, <laughs> but I hope you all had a I hope you all had a spectacular time. We are not going to get any further because I don't know what time you're watching this. Oh, be <laughs> blessed ones, bless up. It could be yeah, blessed people now. Day or night, I don't know. So thank you all for coming. Uh, I am one of your hosts. Stable Shady. This is Twigs Rivera. Yeah, have a good night, New York and America. I love you very much. And Omas. we have our special guest, the Thrills, over in the corner over yonder. The Thrills over right here. You know what I'm talking thrill. about, the Thrills. And we got, uh... <laughs> we have, uh... Andre Cruz. <laughs> Tomas. We have Tomas. Tomas. Andres Tomas. Andres Tomas. I'm sorry for so the... Tomas. I'm sorry for the late, uh, the delay. <laughs> you know, it, it just gets me every time. It's Tomas Cruz. Mr. Cruz. Da! Tomas Cruz. Da -da! And this is F-Top Radio. Radio. All up in your ear hole. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Make sure you comment because this is a special one. And like yeah, if you liked it. And... Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because yeah, I'm subscribe. pretty sure there's a few of you that are Fuck not subscribed man. and I will come to your house and I will drink old English tea with you if you don't subscribe. But back to lighter news. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming and you all have a good evening, morning, afternoon, and good night. <laughs> <laughs>